And I now invite the Russian Federation. Madam President, we wish to thank the Under Secretary General Alexander Zuyev, as well as uh, the commander of uh, the police commanders of the UN mission in South Sudan, the CAR, Mali, and in Haiti for their assessments. We also wish to extend gratitude to all police peacekeepers for their conscientious service in fulfillment of the goals set out under the complicated circumstances of field missions. These have made more all the more complicated given the uh, coronavirus pandemic. We note the efforts of the Secretariat to, to adopt preventive measures to combat the pandemic, whilst at the same time ensuring the smooth fulfillment by peace keepers of the objectives set forth. It is difficult to overestimate the significance of the police component in UN peacekeeping. To date, in 16 peacekeeping and special political missions, there are some 9,000 uh, police peacekeepers serving, and that number continues to grow steadily. What is of particular significance in police operations for the UN under peacekeeping, this specific uh, significance was noted in the latest report of the uh, uh, Special Committee of the General Assembly on Peacekeeping, the C-34. They bear an important role in the implementation of the mandate for the protection of civilians through patrols, uh, uh, monitoring, and combating uh, uh, threats to public order. Uh, they provide assistance in national capacity building for law enforcement bodies and in the conduct of security sector reforms. Police peacekeepers increasingly have to combat organized crime and illicit drug trafficking, drug trafficking and other threats to security. Guardians of order serve as a link between the populace, peacekeeping presences, and the governments of host states. Their efforts facilitate greater public trust in institutions of state governance and sets the foundation for establishment of national reconciliation and post-conflict recovery. The activities of the Blue Berets should continue to be conducted within frameworks agreed to by member states. In line with the mandates of Security Council, the Charter of the United Nations, as well as the core principles of peacekeeping. At the same time, the main uh, condition for effectiveness in the efforts of police peacekeepers is the establishment of constructive relations with the host state, with respect for the host state's sovereignty, and in a manner that reflects the host state's national specificities. specificities. We concur that there is a need to ensure due uh, logistical and staff support for effective compliance with the goals set out. At the same time, there is a need for effective command and control within mission, and there's a need to avoid a duplication of efforts. What we deem to be counterproductive is the following, vesting police keepers with alien functions. For example, those of a political or human our human rights nature. These detract attention from implementation of the tasks set out for them and reduce the overall effectiveness of their operations. The Russian Federation continues to do everything possible to step up our contribution to UN peacekeeping, including in line with those obligations that we assumed during the summits of heads of police agencies. Since 1992, UN peacekeepers, uh, uh, the number of UN peacekeepers rose to include more than 600 staff from the UN domestic uh, ministry. The agency has established a pool of participants in peacekeeping operations, and uh, there are regularly rotating units uh, from the uh, Ministry of the Interior, and they are sent to your mission even despite the coronavirus. To date, our Russian police are active in South Sudan, the DRC in Colombia, in Cyprus, as well as the United Nations mission in Kosovo. At the same time, there are more than 20, the more than 20% of these numbers are women. The UN Certified Center for Training Staff of uh, the uh, Interior Ministry for Participation in Peacekeeping Missions gradu uh, leads, uh, leads issues 
police peacekeepers from graduations, and this includes foreigners, many of whom are women. And there's a particular focus on linguistic training in a manner that reflects the specificities of the host state. Since 2000, at the center, there was training provided for more than 1,750 Russian officers and 600 foreign police peacekeepers. These include senior officials from some 50 countries worldwide. Of them, there are 150 women police from uh, the Russian Federation and a number of African states. From 16 November to 25 December 2020, at the Center for the Training of Staff of the Minister of the Interior, uh, the Russian Foreign Ministry has planned another course for Russian police and their colleagues from African states for participation in peacekeeping missions. Following this, there are plans to conduct an international certification exam with participation of United Nations representatives. We also stand ready to dispatch experts to participate in the work of specialized police groups within UN missions. And this includes uh, joint efforts with other states. We intend to work proactively to staff on a competitive basis, on the basis of secondment contractors in field for the field presences of the United Nations and the UN police unit uh, for, to include representatives of the Russian Foreign Ministry. Thank you very much for your attention. I thank the Russian Federation for her um, statement and I